Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From The Cauldron. Today I'm going to be dyeing this 10 gram mini skein of 100% superwash merino uh, yarn twice. First I'm going to dye it in a kettle dye with this lovely pink acid dye from DT Craft and Design. I measured out approximately 0.1 gram of dye in here, I just mixed it with a little bit of water. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vinegar. Turn the heat on and just give it a little mix around. Ooh, you can see already started a strike and it's this beautiful, beautiful neon pink. I wonder, I hope it, I hope it will keep that. I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then just let it simmer for maybe about 10 minutes so the yarn can absorb all the dye. And then we'll move on to round two. 10 minutes. Uh, it's been 10 minutes and there is still some, some dye left in the water, but I don't think this yarn is going to absorb anymore. You see that's a beautiful and lovely pink. So I'm gonna put this to the side to cool down until it's cool enough to handle, then we can do step two. Now I'm not going to waste this this uh, dye bath here. I haven't got any yarn that I want to dye with it right now, so I'm just going to pour it into a jug. These, all this equipment here is dedicated for dyeing. I never use any of this for food. So I'm going to put that to the side, and I've got these little condiment bottles. I'll just fill this up once that dye, that water has cooled down. Now I'm going to reset for round two. I want, okay, this is boiling water already. I want it to be quite hot. So I want the water to be hot when the yarn goes in. And I've, again, I've weighed out 0.1 grams of this black acid dye from DT Craft and Design. I've weighed it out and just dissolved it in a little bit of water. Just put it straight in there. Now I'm going to dip dye this yarn next. This next round, this next round is going to be dip dyed. So I want this dye to strike quite quickly to the yarn. So I'm going to add three, ah, four teaspoons of vinegar. So hopefully that will just make the dye bind to the, the yarn a little bit quicker. Okay, I've now untangled this. I've added a zip tie, so I've got something to hold on to. And now I'm just going to slowly dip this into the black. So hopefully, I'm hoping to get nice black down here, the bottom, and then preserve some of this beautiful bright pink at the top. Uh, I'm just going to go in and out like this, so hopefully all the yarn We'll get some of the dye on it and also I don't want it to be a sudden dark black slightly different shade slightly different shade all the way up I want it to be a more even cover even um, change so that's why I'm bringing it in and out just letting it go in a little bit further each time but I want to keep some of this so I'm not going to put all of it in just going to keep doing this until I've got enough oh, yeah. separating the yarn like this can also help just to try and get a li get the dye all the way through the yarn because this skein is so thin that won't really make too much of a difference uh, but if this was a hundred grams it would it would definitely help oh, this is now to this dye bath is now turning pink I had some more yarn I could just stick in there to uh, soak up that, see if I could get that nice colour. If you look now, you can see there's just the tiniest hint of black there on the bits that I've just put in, whereas down the bottom it's quite dark. Oh, 
Wow, I did not expect this dye bath to turn purple. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't quickly dunk that end in. You see, it's not really made any difference. But I was not expecting this at all. If I have this, oops, I have this suspended up here, then I can keep some of the keep that dark end in and and preserve some of this pink at the top I'm going to leave it like this for about five minutes and then I'm just going to turn everything off let it cool down and then I can wash this yarn and see what we've got okay it's been five minutes and I think the yarn has absorbed as much of the dye as possible so I'm just going to turn that off going to waste this there there still is some nice purple in there so like with the other stuff I'm just going to pour it in here Oops. and then it can go into one of my bottles and I can use it again at another date so so here's the yarn I'm just going to let that cool down completely and then once it's cooled down I can wash it make sure that all the dye has bonded to the yarn and then we can see how how this has turned out here are my leftover uh dye baths i'm glad i've left let I labeled them because i if i hadn't i wouldn't be able to tell which one was pink and which was black i can't believe this is what the black one has turned out like i can't wait to do some more dyeing with this one once the yarn had completely cooled down i washed it in a bit of plain cool tap water with some washing up liquid just to remove any excess dye and uh, let it dry and here is our finished yarn. Uh, you can see there's a bit of rogue black up here in the pink section. That happened because I didn't straighten out my yarn fully. I should have untangled it a little bit more before I dipped it in the black. But uh, live and learn. I love how this pink has faded into beautiful purple and then you get the lovely dark black in here as well. And I think the, the pink and the black I think looks so good together. And this this fades, this beautiful faded section. I think it's beautiful. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday and I like to do different things each week so there'll always be something new, something interesting to watch. Thank you so much for watching.